guys and welcome back to the Holy Slit. I am Steejo and this is Nomoria. Um we're just about to get attacked by an invasion, you can tell by that battle music. And we're on the eleventh day of fall. We've got two days left until the first day of winter in which we should receive more nomads, I hope. Um, like I said, I'm, I've uh, completely forgot if you can receive nomads in winter. Every winter, like for the past three years I've done this. Um, so yeah, we've got Inhiria, our Master Destroyer. Um, he's in good health, he's got full armor, full weaponry. His skills are going up. He's got some notable kills, two of which were our own guys. And one is Vrish the Hounder. So let's see if he can survive this final onslaught. Three goblins. All decked out, some in bronze, some in copper. Come on Yak, you can help out Inhiria. It seems like it's Inhiriar against the three of them, because no one else is seeming to help him. Oh, there we go. Nope, he decided against it. Oh, Inhiriar just nipped back to get a wee bandage. Just gotta fast forward a wee bit. Let Inhiriar do his job. Oh shit, he's lost everything. Oh, he's picked him up again. You can do it, Inhiriar. Sitting on top of the bandages, battling. Um, excuse me, can the rest of my gnomes please get in and start fucking beating the shit out of these guys? And Hiria really needs help now, guys. Shit, that could be us. And Hiria has failed. A golem has bled to death, but there's still two more. Rick Wienbergen the third has died. Rick Wienbergen the fourth. The goblin has died. Come on, militia, you can do it. Saving game. Oh, the goblin's lost his shield. We're going to lose some more people before this is over. Goblin has bled to death. Did Inhiriar survive? Population. A sign. Inhiriar. Are you bleeding? No. Fuck yes. Ah, oh, Stejo the second has died. We've got 17 gnomes dead right now. Someone else is bleeding. It's not going well. Is it? It's Blargs. Oh, poor Blargs. Blargs, we don't even have a doc. Oh, shit. He's dead. <laughs> we don't even have a doc on the left of the hospital. <laughs> he is fucked. See you later, blogs. Good knowing you, bro. Doesn't hurry all there. You will get there in there. You will be a lord and saviour. We've just got to survive the. Night of the 11th and Night of the 12th, so there will be another battle before this is all over. I'm actually going to see if I can save blogs here. We're designating that as a hospital and setting someone like uh, Herb Eber smells to be our doctor. He was a blacksmith so I remember. So he'll grab that and take it down to him hopefully and save his life. 
Come on! You can do it! You can do it! Oh no, he's not. That's not him. He's taking it to place it there. Shit. Oh! I lived! Hey! No, don't you dare in here. <laughs> Uh, where's the doctor? There he is there. Uh, you're a uh, blacksmith. Because I need... Um, I need Nhiriar's armour to be built again. Unfortunately. Build furniture. Stone door. This is a skeleton crew now. Six population. We have no woodcutter or carpenter. Gardener? The fuck? Um, no medic, no woodcutters. We do have two tailors though, which is good. Because <laughs> we really fucking need two tailors to get us uh, enough bandages to keep everyone alive through these battles. Right, as soon as you wake up, you need to make his armour again. He's still got everything apart from his chest plate. Got one cotton bandage. Hopefully we don't get attacked tonight, otherwise that's pretty much it over because one cotton bandage isn't going to stave off any goblins. <laughs> Neither will two, but nice effort. We're actually making a decent amount of bandages and I'm making them fairly quickly, which is good. The tailors are probably really high leveled. This is so fucking worrying <laughs> right now. Is that a goblin foot or something? What is it? That's a oh, it's Frisch the Hounder's right arm and his left leg. Someone should mount them on the wall. So we're into our final day, the twelfth day of fall. So we'll have one night and probably one battle that will determine the history of the Holy Slip and the future. Bum bum bum. 17 dead gnomes. Dug too deep too greedily and it's cost us. But will it cost us the entire kingdom? We'll need to see. Oh, Christ. It's worrying. <laughs> it is worrying. Are they? Oh, they're only cutting clippings and planting saplings. Uh, cut the clippings and fell the trees. Cut the clippings, fell the trees. Oh yeah, I should probably fl plant saplings as well. That'd help. I'm actually going to suspend these right now. Um, until this one's fully fleshed out. I don't even have anyone doing anything. <laughs> Are you kidding? At 6 in the morning, a fucking goblin's been spotted. They aren't equipped though. Oh, not really equipped. Oh no, and Hideo's died! That is not good. Oh. 
That is very not good. <laughs> very not good. Goblin has died. I'm actually going to tell my militia that they can wear anything. Another goblin has died. I can't believe Inherio died, that is ridiculous. Oh, her beaver smells has died as well. Oh, shit. Beaver smells. I can't remember how his name spelled properly. E A V U R. B A V U R. Ah, I got it right. Oh, it's the fourth. Fuck. Sorry, about this, guys. I'm just updating my wee list of dead gnomes. You know, as you do. I think everyone's got a list of dead gnomes, surely. I really need to get my... Uh, my two tailors in a squad here. Oh shit. Oh yeah, it's bled to death, so this is now a legendary fucking goblin. Beautiful. That's a legendary dead goblin. Fug the vegetation coupler has died. Wow, this this kingdom's down to four people. Like fuck. <laughs> Seriously. We've got one night to survive. Spastica's died standing up. I can't believe that we lost in Hidia. To three pretty much unarmoured goblins. But he had no chest plate, so he was pretty much unarmoured as well, which sucks. Well we last guys, this is like honestly clutch. We've got one night one night to survive. If we get attacked, I mean, hopefully the yaks will be able to stave them off. Hopefully a man will pop up and kill them all. <laughs> I don't know. Right, it is now the night time. We are going to tell them to equip two of whatever they want. We are going to put everyone the same, they're all in the same squad. Uh, formations for the militia. Increase vision range, nope. Best defense. Um, militia. Uh, I want knock them down because I want them on their asses because then they can't do much. And let's see. Hopefully, all my guys are inside um, when anything happens so that the GX can kind of battle them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to designate a pasture for the yaks and I'm going to extend this pasture out so that the yaks will be wandering like close to the door so that they won't rush in there because they'll see the yaks first and battle the yaks. This is how clutch we're getting here guys. Who's that that died? That's me. <laughs> Stage of the second. Oh god. We're just about to hit the 15 minute mark as well guys and you know what that means. That means that you don't get to see what happens. <laughs> Which really sucks. So you have to tune in next time guys to see the final 
episode, possibly, of the Holy Slit. You never know. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.